Hi, I'm standing here in front of San Javier del Bac Mission, right near Tucson, and it's such a great building. I love those two towers, the two white towers against the blue sky, and that curly Q section in the middle. So I think I'm gonna go and sketch this. Hi, I'm Shari Blaukoff. Welcome to my studio. As I discovered when sketching on location, San Javier del Bac is a really complex building to draw. So what I'd like to share with you in this video is how I break down a complex subject and then sketch it in ink and in watercolor. And as I've discovered, having a really good drawing gets you a much better end result. So I'm gonna spend a lot of time on the drawing and then add some bright and fresh watercolor washes to it and hopefully have a good result. Let's get started. The materials that I'm gonna be using for this demo are watercolor paper. I have a Fluid 100, 100% watercolor paper block and it's a nine by 12 size. I'm also going to be using a pen. A pen. Uh, I have a Faber-Castell Pitt Artist Pen, size S. Maybe my mechanical pencil, not sure about that. I have a round brush, my traditional palette that I use all the time, some water and paper towels. When you look at the beautiful church of San Javier del Bac, it's um, split kind of into three parts. Okay, now that I have that centerpiece in and I know where the ground is, and this is kind of where that wall is, and it comes down on both sides, then I can add the towers. All these birds here and they're so nice I'm gonna make put a few of them landing right over here watching all the tourists come into the church that's always a nice touch So try to make sure that the, the scrolls are all in the same place. Horizontal lines that I want to make sure line up on both sides. and put in the palm trees because I think it gives it a little sense of place. Now that I have the main lines in, the, the one thing that I want to do is to give it a sense of place. And to do that, before I do too many more details, I want to put in some of the people.
and you notice that the sun was coming from the left, so from the right, so there's a shadow on the left side of these pillars. Now that that's done, I'm just going to define the towers a little bit and then I'll be ready to put some color on. Well, I finished the drawing, so let's get started with the watercolor washes and the darks and the details. I've pre-wet the sky a little bit and I've mixed up a little bit of blue color, sky color, a little bit of cerulean blue, cobalt blue, and a little bit of turquoise. And I want, I, I wet it because I really want to get a good wispy blue sky behind here. And this church is called the White Dove of the Desert. And, it's, um, and that's because as you approach it, as you're driving and you approach it, those white towers really stand out um, on the flat land around it. So I want to get some nice blue. I pre-wet the paper just so that um, I get a bit of that wispiness in the sky. The next section that I'm going to do is this beautiful sandstone part in the middle. And that has a lot of pinkish color in it, so I'm going to take a little bit of my red. I'm going to take a little bit of ochre or raw sienna. I think I have raw sienna. And I'm going to mix in a little bit of my cerulean blue in there to gray it down a little bit. As I do this, I'm going to leave some little sparkle in there by leaving some little bits of white and change the color a little bit as I go along.
left tower and left side of the building was restored before the right side so it ha it's slightly yellowed so I'm gonna and that's when you're on location there that's very distinctive so I'm just gonna put a little light yellow wash on that side and then I'm gonna start to add the shadows I like to take all the little brights on my palette for all of these people. Turquoise is a great color. Usually I leave a little, a little white at the top when I'm painting them, as if a little sun is hitting them on their shoulders as they walk in. That's it, done. I hope you enjoyed watching me sketch in ink and watercolor. If you wanna learn how to do it yourself, check out my online course, A French Village Scene in Ink and Watercolor. I'll leave a link for you in the description. Thanks for watching. <laughs>